January 2018, Sunday. Well, my name is Jason Blakemore. I did DJ Trance for, in the early 90s and Rebirth. I did some re, uh, Metro stuff. In the 80s, uh, my name is Jim and Jay, which is kind of silly. Dude, D-O-O-D, Life Music. Early influences were Doc Martin, Mickey's, like Kool-Aid, uh, Prodigy, DJ Dan, R.A.W., Mark Farina. My favorite type of food is authentic Mexican food, like the kind you buy out of a plywood like place on the side of the street in Rosarito. <laughs> like 90 cent tacos. Who knows what you're eating, it's just amazing. Sorry for the vegans out there. I grew up on the streets of Laguna Niguel, Dana Point, uh, South Orange County. I should finish graduate school in December 2018. To, I want to be a therapist. I've wanted to be one my whole life. I graduated from Loyola with a degree in psychology in 93, and I wanted to take a year off because my DJing was going well and uh, 20 years went by, but I'm doing that now. Uh, necessities of mother of invention, so, you know, it's, I had a real solid DJ career from 95 to 2010, and then it started slowing down, and so I went back to school. That's what I've always wanted to do. I want to write a book. I want to be a spiritual teacher, you know, a clinician, a therapist. Um, I think it'll be funny Ten years from now, I think somebody will say, is it true that you used to be a DJ? I was born in 1970. I started DJing in 1983. I got turntables for Christmas in 1984. So, I like to say 20 years, but if I really do the math, I guess it's been more like 30. Um, I DJed for, I don't know, eight or nine or ten years just doing paying dues, carrying speakers, and doing 16th birthday parties and stuff like that. Till I, uh, I went to Loyola Marymount in 1990, started going to undergrounds, and uh, after a year and a half or so, I was like, I want to do this. So I started playing techno music like, out in 92. Uh, Club What was the first place I played in April 92. And right now it's January 2018, so... How many years that is a lot I'm happy that the music or the sets that I've made or the music that I've made is uh, still touched people you know mm, yeah I was self-taught you know like I said I grew up in Laguna Niguel South Orange County and I used to drive to LA and listen to the DJs and buy records and drive back and that sounds so cliche now, but at the time, it was like, I, I went to my high school had 2,500 people at it. I was the only DJ. Um, I randomly got into it because in eighth grade, there was a kid named Alex the Transfer that was from New York. And he taught me about Grandmaster Flash and break dancing and all that kind of stuff. And so that's the only way I learned about it was um, just watching some old videos and sets, uh, Beat Street and Breakin' and stuff like that, but Breakin' was kind of lame. But, um, yeah, Grandmaster Flash videos and Beat Street and, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like a DJ school or anything like that, especially in South Orange County. So, kind of random, you know. But, uh, funny thing I like to talk about is R.A.W., one of my best friends. He was born five days before me, same year. So, 10-5-70 and I'm 10-10-70. He grew up in the South Bay, which was a lot more urban and street and DJs around. And I grew up in Laguna Niguel, which was, like I said, one black guy and a whole bunch of white people driving Beamers and shit. But somehow we connected, you know, later in life in the early 90s. And so it's one of those fate or coincidence questions, you know? And producers I've been following lately, just like week after week after week, it's people I haven't heard of. I haven't heard of them, haven't heard of them, and I keep playing all this stuff from people I haven't heard, so I'm thinking Richie Houghton, maybe you just have a thousand aliases, I don't know. There's almost almost nothing that I play. Tonight I did play one Claude Van Stroke remix, and I played one Gene Ferris remix. But besides that, almost everything I play, oh, I played a Lee Reynolds Desert Hearts track. 
but almost everything else I played tonight, I have never heard of the artist. It's just, um, I don't know if they're aliases or just a lot of people doing it now or what, but I have, but I have my couple of lists of people that send me tracks and I just go off of that, you know? 2017, um, Camp OG at Nocturnal. I love that. Um, Purple 33 I love. Uh, any underground places? Any place where there's alcohol the whole night and no security and no worries and no hurries. And those are the two that, that popped in my mind. Sorry if I forgot anybody. I don't mean to offend anybody. Technically, I was part of the second generation, but who knows if other people say there was people before. But in L.A., I started going out in uh, when I moved to L.A. from South Orange County in August 1990. So I think the first underground I went to was the end of 1990, maybe like uh, October, November. Um, and then I started playing in 92, like I said, but when I first started going out, there was already Kool-Aid and Barry Weaver and those Gary Blitz and Beach and those guys. Supposedly they were the first generation, but who knows if there's other people that were like, we were there and nam, you know. Um, but most people consider me to be part of the second generation, which is the like, I don't want to mess anybody's like deal up, but I think it's like the R.E.W., DJ Dan, DJ Trans, like that generation. Um, so yeah, second generation, I think. So I'm happy I had a moment. I'm happy that I got to rock it for a while. And uh, more respect to the people like Doc that are even doing it for even longer. But I'm glad I had a solid career, and I, I'm hoping and happy to have a, a second 20-year career, you know? Be a, put out books and be a spiritual teacher and and uh, I love it all. Who knows how much of this I'm just making up, you know? Google Jason Blakemore. <laughs>